I'm going to present you about uh, our experience in Mozambique. Um, and I hope my Portuguese reasoning don't betray me in my translation to English. Um, the motivation to uh, start this uh, uh, initiative came from uh, the context of high pressure over land uh, in Mozambique, particularly uh, uh, since 2006 with the biofuels boom, and uh, has been increasing so far up to, to now due to urbanization, due to mining, the discovery of oil, etc. <coughs> um, and then also due to the limited uh, uh, capacity of the government, uh, the costs, uh, high costs, uh, regu regularization costs uh, for communities that imply uh, not only uh, uh, money, but also time. It's a really uh, high, uh, high uh, intensive process uh, and uh, a lot of land conflicts. Um, we born with the intention to complement the uh, efforts of the government to implement the law. And we decided to start to, to this, on this statement particularly because of the political sensitivity of the topic, uh, particularly uh, because our intention is uh, indeed uh, be constructive and rather than uh, uh, fighting uh, uh, against the government as most of the organizations do. And the, the principal intention is to protect uh, community uh, uh, rights. Um, our core business is uh, the limitation of community land, is demarcation of rural associations, is the promotion of economic development, uh, promotion of citizenship. Basically, most and the core of our, our motivation, uh, the, the core of our organization, the, our drive is basically uh, uh, promote the citizenship by providing information to communities and ensure that uh, communities have a notion of the value of the land and their natural resources, that they have uh, a notion that uh, only by uh, doing partnerships with uh, investors, they can eventually uh, improve their, their conditions. But to a community with uh, proper information uh, uh, is is better fit to negotiate actually transactions and uh, contribute to conflict reduction. We started shyly, and I have to say, uh, with the contribution of uh, six uh, European donors. I have to refer Defeat, the Swiss, uh, uh, Swiss, Swiss, Sweden, Netherlands, uh, Ireland, and Denmark. Um, the Millennium Challenge Corporation arrived uh, in 2009 and uh, helped us cover the northern uh, region, and then we became uh, better uh, encouraged to expand to, to uh, uh, other two provinces. Um, the results we present here are, sh are modest, but uh, this has uh, an explanation on, uh, on, on the limited capacity of the government to implement the law. Um, as in 2007, for instance, uh, in October, well, while we were commemorating the 10th anniversary of the land law, um, the government amend, uh, did an amendment on the, law, on the regulation uh, to establish limits of, of authority to attribute land. Because at that time, until 2007, a governor could give you 50 uh, hectares of land, or 50,000 hectares, it, there, was no regular, there, there was no control. So they established a limit. The big problem that this uh, amendment brought uh, was within the government and how the government itself, uh, government officials at the provincial district level, interpreted that amendment, which was positive, but they, they mixed the, 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 the rule and applied it to communities. By the Constitution, a community has no limits 
community lives in a place. So the boundaries of a community are not limited, uh, is limited by, by their own livelihoods. Uh, while a private sector uh, 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 applicant for land uh, needs to present a project. Even if you want uh, to, buy, to build a house, you have to show that you want to build a house. So this was mixed, and the same uh, uh, demands that the private sector uh, application uh, uh, suffers was attributed to communities. We needed about three years to clarify this. That's why these are modest. Today, we started with an aim of 25 land delimitations per year in 2006, and today we are able uh, to do 300 delimitations. Our actually target for 2017 is uh, 354 delimitations. Um, there is pressure. Uh, we started this program uh, thinking on uh, uh, is it relevant? Is there demand of our services? Um, and the demand has been growing. Today, with the with the uh, uh, discovery of oil and gas in Yambani province, for instance, and the two bridges that are uh, being uh, uh, built in Maputo, uh, we have demand from the governors bringing, inviting us to, to expand to these two provinces too. Um, in our point of view, the limitation is more, it's not just that physical exercise, it's much more we call it delimitation. It should have another name. It should have uh, a name like uh, building citizenship. But in fact, we have to start from delimiting. And delimitation is an attitude of providing information to communities, making an assessment of, of the resources uh, that they have, uh, make them understand that they have to part, go in partnerships we promote community investors' partnerships. The result of our process of delimitation does uh, build of identity of a community. A community becomes, gets a, an ID card. A community becomes uh, eligible to exert their rights, their citizenship rights. There are um, uh, a series of, uh, of uh, benefits that uh, the, the law offers, uh, like the 20% the of the revenue of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the, in the law of forest and wildlife. There is the 15% in the law of tourism. There is this 2.75% in the law of, uh, of mining, which revenue oh, oh, that communities, once delimited, once recognized by the authorities, have the right to claim. Okay. Um, the government, as I said, the law, uh, our law is beautiful, it's good. It has uh, all you need to respect uh, uh, people's rights. Uh, the basis of the law is already there. Uh, you have to share information with the community you have to establish capacity, internal capacity in the community by building natural resources committees. This is an obligation of the law. You have to respect limits between communities. Part of the conflicts that exist are not necessarily brought by outsiders. It's not, it's not necessarily that. Sometimes it's within communities that, that, that the problem arises, but also inter-communities between neighboring communities, they can be really, you, you, you can find terrible uh, uh, conflicts. Uh, and, and the law already uh, uh, considers uh, impor the importance of, of this exercise. And then you have the, uh, uh, the formalization of, the, of, the, of the, the rights. We come in bringing social preparation to the process. And social preparation is an exercise of is an exercise of uh, formalizing the structures within the community, but it's also a, an exercise of creating within the communities the capacity to sort it, sort the problems out by itself. So it's a, 
it's a, a bit of that the law do not take in account that we uh, bring in. Okay, um, I can. Uh, there is a, an exercise of opening a bank account that uh, I can explain uh, later. Uh, from the from the delimitation process, you have a, a, a recognition from the provincial authorities that give you a certificate. You have a zoning, a land zoning, that we expect to contribute to the district level. So this would be a, a micro dimension of the need to map uh, a, a district. So you get uh, a, 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 a certificate and uh, a, a, a map that uh, shows your boundaries. And then you get the recognition of uh, the, the authorities within the community by the administrator. Then you get these rights published in the, in the national, in the uh, state gazette. And from there, you are able to open a bank account. So a community has an ID card and can open a bank account and can start claiming their rights. Um, the, the most, one of the most important documents that we produce is uh, what we call a community agenda. It's uh, what we uh, sim can simplify saying that it's the profile of the community that can uh, be easily transformed on a business plan if uh, needed. It, it comes with the history of the community, all the potential, and a roadmap of a potential path that the community can take if they decide to do it by them, do something uh, by themselves. Um, we don't work alone. We need to partner with the key players in the, in the, in the, in the system. Um, especially, we keep close attention to the government plans and, and try to produce, to build synergies between uh, the government programs and uh, uh, communities. But uh, we are stretching ourselves and trying to uh, focus on a special uh, slots of the system where we can produce more benefit. And we created, a, 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 together with other organizations, we created a consortium that tries to use uh, the legislation of 2008 to expand the, the, the benefits that the communities have. Uh, namely, uh, uh, as I said, we, they now access, they, this has, the, the communities are represented by natural resources committees. But the, the other laws that I mentioned, the mining, uh, the tourism, etc., are also uh, a channels through which they can benefit. So we expect from this consortium to expand the, 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 the roles of benefits that the community, formal benefits that the communities have. We uh, have entered in a partnership with the uh, uh, Gorongosa National Park uh, to uh, focus and uh, stretch ourselves uh, uh, to work on the, in the buffer zones of the national parks, but also to contribute to, for harmony between communities and the authorities of the parks, try to uh, uh, f focus our attention in uh, uh, conservation areas. Uh, we are, as we are here, uh, trying to expand also and uh, build better relationships with the, uh, the academy. All these institutions here are part of the governance system of our uh, uh, organization and make us, our decision-making processes sounder. Um, it's not changing. Oh. I'm being betrayed by this. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me say uh, some statements from practice. Yes, for, from, from our experience. Um, oops, how do I go back? OK. <laughs> Sorry. From, from our experience, we, had, we, have, we uh, 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 expect uh, to convince uh, whoever it's time to listen to us, that uh, the limitation first is an important uh, step, particularly for uh, those investors uh, with mega projects 
there is uh, there are there, there are lots of uh, of uh, 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 testimonies of uh, business that fail because you get to the point to the to a place uh, eventually uh, uh, misled uh, by whoever facilitates your access to land and you don't communicate with the communities you don't respect the rights that are already there and those uh, situations are often uh, uh, result in uh, in poor, poor, poor implementation of your business. Uh, social preparation is key to ensure that the people, that the communities, know themselves, know their rights, that they uh, know that uh, uh, they uh, have rights, have limitations, and they are the are authors, I'm getting a bit, uh, uh, English is now becoming difficult, that they're authors of their own development. The development plans are an important instrument uh, to, for a forward-looking instrument that can, as I said, be transformed easily on a business plan uh, if uh, 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 some uh, people, if some uh, If, <laughs> if uh, somebody or some organization wants to help uh, to, to establish a value chain for the communities. Um, we adopted an intervention in clusters, um, especially to be able to improve our, our capacity and, 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 and increase the number of communities. Today, uh, what we call one project, one intervention, can easily contain five to seven communities. It reduces costs and make it more feasible. Um, there is a, 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 an attempt to do an inclusive approach to gender and diversity. We don't know much about it. We are trying to uh, find better ways or, uh, to, to improve uh, and, and, and maximize the impact in, uh, uh, with regards to gender and, and diversity, trying to learn and trying to build uh, challenging indicators uh, and get out only of the numbers, number of women in decision-making posts and consider more, consider more the diversity within a community. There are more needs that are diverse. Yeah, th uh, there are sections of the community that are not heard uh, 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 if you don't ask, if you are not sensitive to it. Um, we do inclusive, as I said, I showed you a, a big a bunch of organizations. They are all part of our decision-making process. So we keep all of those sensitivities involved in the, in the monitoring of the program, uh, bringing up the weaknesses as each of the organizations or if each of the institutions in their own specificity expects. Well, we do uh, lots of uh, keeping systematic cost-benefit analysis and uh, outcome mapping is one of the most important aspects that we have uh, introduced in our uh, uh, attitude, which is while we go forward, we keep attention in going backwards and try to see what are the effects of our work, what's, what has been happening after we have passed. So uh, right now, I think we are in 2010, uh, looking for the results of 2010, and that are beautiful examples of uh, 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 interesting results. Uh, in terms of challenging and opportunities, uh, ah, the big, big challenge is institutional capacity of stakeholders. Ours, the, the private sector, service providers, the government, donors, uh, uh, all stakeholders do need some sort of uh, uh, literacy on the topic all stakeholders need to be kept in the same level uh, in order to produce results. But one of the big issues is interinstitutional uh, 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 coordination. Uh, organizations doing, uh, creating separate paths, not talking to each other, and not producing uh, 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 impact. Uh, what, we, what we have been able to do through synergies is, uh, in fact, producing, bringing different programs together and uh, producing, uh, I can give you some examples, but I think my time is over. 
So uh, we would expect that uh, with uh, better coordination, better uh, uh, productivity, land, less land conflicts, uh, development, of course, mature response to, 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 to problems uh, would result. I guess that's all for now.